Hi, this is Camden from Cytofix. Today I'm going to be going over the group swap node, also known as the group create node. So let's go ahead and start off. I'm just in my geometry context now, and we're going to start by placing down the group node. So as you can see, it's throwing an error, and that's because it's going to require some source data. Now, if we take a look, the uh, groups that it's looking for could be primitives, points, edges, or vertices, the, uh, the actual uh, source data itself. So let's go ahead and plug in a sphere. All right, and I'm just going to turn the sphere into uh, polygons so that we have a little bit more uh, primitives to work with. So the first thing you're going to want to do with the group node is give your group a name. Now we have a couple ways that we can do this. You'll see up here we have group name and we could name this something like group test. And now when we middle mouse click over this or control click, you'll see that we have a primitive group with uh, 80 primitives now called group test. And that's including all of our 80 primitives that we have on this sphere. Another trick to making group names, and this can be used in a lot of cases, is to use the $OS function. So if we call $OS up here within the group name, and then we rename our node itself to group underscore test. Now when we uh, control middle mouse click on it you'll see we've again created a group test node but this time we're working just within the node name itself and that's being called for our group name context so that's just another way that we could uh, rename our groups as well so we're going to leave that as group test and again like i said we've got this group type so we could switch this to points and now we'll be grouping all of the points on our selection edges and vertices so the reason why it's grouping all of the uh, selected vertices, edges, points, or primitives is because of this base group function here. So we can uh, uh, untick this enable, and you'll see that it no, uh, no longer has anything grouped within the selection. Another useful uh, parameter is this base group, where we could type in some numbers here, and now we will be grouping just that number primitive. So we've got primitive number zero, and we can see that if we click here on our primitive number visualizer. We also could change this to points, and if we take a look around, point zero, uh, which is here, will be also grouped now. Again, this still works with, uh, with our edges, except this time it's going to group all edges on primitive zero, and we can even change that so that we group all of the edges on point zero by putting a P in front of our base group. And then we also have the option to choose all of our uh, vertices, but not on a point, but on a primitive. So it's going to group all three of those as well.